So let's go ahead and look at the first one here, which is A. So we have three plus two plus two. So there are three numbers that we are going to add. So we always, whenever we see three numbers, we always add our first two numbers first, then we add the last number. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a triangle to connect three and two, okay? Don't do anything yet, don't do anything yet. Just watch me right now, okay? So I have three plus two, and anyone knows what three plus two equals? Three plus two. Equals, I just want the answer, just tell me. Five. So then, so then I put five down here because three plus two equals five, and I cross out three plus two because I already added those two numbers. So three plus two <laughs> equals five. Since I already added that, I cross it out. So all, the only number I have left is two. So this is going to be five plus two because I already did three and two, which was five, and now I need to add my last number. Five plus two, with the, the, what does that equal to? Seven. So my answer is seven. Three plus two plus two equals seven. Yes, okay, so could everyone do this on A, just like I did? So go ahead and connect three and two, and that equals five. And then cross out three plus two, and then connect five to the two. So just like I did. Again, so you have three plus two, draw the triangle to connect three plus two. And then you'll put five underneath the triangle because you are showing that three plus two equals five. Then cross out three plus two. Then with your five, you draw an arrow to show that now you're adding five plus two and that equals Seven. So three plus two plus two equals seven. Okay. We're doing double facts now. Well, it's, it's triple. It's three facts. So double is two. Oh, triple facts. Yeah. Okay. So who was able to write it just like this on your own? You were able to get it done. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let me see. Put it up so I can see, please. To make sure that everyone is able to write it good. See? Mm -hmm. So that is how we add it. So every time you see three numbers, that's how you add it. So Solomon, you have it? Is this right, Miss Lizzie? Uh, you have to put it down some. I can't see. Okay. Solomon, you have to put... Okay. Solomon, so you see where you put five down here? This is not your answer though. Five is not the answer because you still have plus two. So you have to draw the arrow to five plus two, then your answer will be seven. Tell me right back. Then your answer will be seven. Miss Williams, can I go use the bathroom? Uh, can you wait till after the lesson or the middle of the lesson? Sure. Okay, B, let's go ahead and move on to B. All right, everybody's ready for B? So we do the same thing again. So we have one plus eight plus two. One plus eight plus two. I always add my first two numbers first, which will be one plus eight. That's why I'm drawing this triangle here to show that I am adding one plus eight, which equals nine. I put nine right underneath the triangle to show that one plus eight is nine. Everybody did this? Yep. Yep. So cross out one plus eight because we already added those two numbers. Okay, yep. Now I will add, so what, what do I have left over? Two. Plus two. So now I draw an arrow from nine to two to show that now I'm going to add nine plus two and that equals? Eleven. Nine plus two equals eleven. So I have one plus eight. I added first. It equals to nine. 
Once you add that, you cross it out because you already added those two. Then I do nine plus two and it equals 11. Who has it written down? I do. Okay, who feels like they, they understand? I do. Yeah? I do. Okay. All right, okay, let's try C. Okay, so C, again, two plus five plus three. So which two numbers am I going to add first? You tell me. Two plus five. So let's connect two plus five. And what does two plus five equal? Seven. Good, seven. And what do I do after I write seven? You put you connect the seven to the three. Uh -uh, before that. You you cross, yes yes cross out two and five because I added those. So now I like Amina said I connect seven plus three, and that equals ten. Ten. Seven plus three equals ten. You're so smart, Brian. <laughs> so 7 plus 3 equals 10. So we had 2 plus 5 plus 3. We add 2 plus 5 first. That equals 7. Then we do 7 plus 3 equals 10. What are the seconds on here? Okay, let's now you have to turn your book the regular way so that we can do the other side. So now the other side is the same thing except the facts are written differently. They're not written down one next to another. They are actually in a, ver a vertical position, which is up there, one on top of the other, okay? So let's learn how to do it that way, which is kind of the same thing, except it's just in a different direction, okay? So that's going to be D, it's different. So I have one plus eight plus nine. So the first thing I do is add my two numbers just like the other time. So that will be one plus eight. One plus eight equals, does anyone know? Nine. Nine. One plus eight is nine. So then I, I cross out one plus eight because I already added those two numbers. So now all I have left is a plus nine. Okay, so we have one plus eight. We added those two, which is nine. And then now I, have, I cross out one plus eight. And now I have nine plus nine. So I draw an arrow to show nine plus nine. That was a double spike. Does anyone remember what nine plus nine equals? Eighteen. Awesome, eighteen. So one plus eight plus nine equals eighteen. So the last two numbers needs to be that that you need to put with the number equal. Yes, whenever you add the nine and the nine. And then the bottom number, yes, that's your answer. Okay, are we ready to move on to E? Okay. All right, so this one is three plus six plus four. Three plus six plus four. Okay, so just like last time, we start with the first two numbers, which are going to be three and six. So three plus six. Anyone knows what three plus six equals? Nine. 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 Good. Nine. And then I cross out three plus six because I added those two numbers already. And now all I have left is plus four. So I connect my answer nine to the plus four. Nine plus four. I don't know what nine plus four equals. That's okay. Nine plus that. That's one of our new facts. I believe we learned those last week. So nine plus four will equal to. Does anyone know? Thirteen. Thirteen. Good. Nine plus four 13. is thirteen. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you for saying that. Nine plus four equals thirteen. Okay. So let's do F. So would you like to try F on your own? You try that one on your own and let, and then we'll talk about it, okay? So try F. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and add it up with anyone. So the first thing, who can tell me the first thing I needed to do to add five plus two plus four? First thing, uh, Josiah, what do I need to do? Okay, what am I connecting? Um, five and two. Good, so five plus two, and that equals what? Seven. Good, okay, so next, I already added five plus two. What do I have to make sure to do? Cross it, yes, thank you, Larry, I cross it. So now, who knows my next step? So five plus two is seven. What am I going to do next? Can anyone tell me what I'll do next? Okay, Carly, what do I do next? Write the number. Well, I have I have seven here, and I have plus four. Draw the line. To connect seven to what? Four. Okay, and seven plus four, who knows the answer? It equals? Eleven. Awesome. Seven plus four equals no, eleven. So you could put your page away. So that's it for math. You can do your workbook pages after our Zoom is over.